Welcome back to Main Street Living. Danielle Quincy, it may seem like we were just in the throes of March Madness, but college basketball is back and we're looking forward to a great season. Absolutely. And some of the action will be found right here on your view. And we have UNLV Lady Rebels head coach Lindy LaRock here to tell us what to watch for this season on her third ranked team. Lindy, thanks so much for making some time for Main Street Living. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. I'm excited to have you on. Uh, I know that you played at Stanford, so I know that you learned from the best when it came to coaching here. And I know that you were also uh, the second youngest ever Division One basketball coach when you were hired at your position. So I'm very excited to hear all of your thoughts here. Obviously, your team looking forward to an exciting season. Last year, they were picked to be ninth in the Mountain West, but finished second. This year, you're picked third. What does it mean to you and your team to start out with such high expectations? Well, we're really excited to, you know, kind of gain that respect and, you know, kind of the notoriety from our peers and, and you know, the people that we play against. Um, if anything, it might mean that we have a little bit more of a target on our back. Maybe we were under the radar last year, but I don't think that's going to be the case this year. So, you know, our external expectations are just aligning with our internal ones. You know, we have really high expectations for our team and how we want to play. Um, you know, and so being picked third, it, it's great, but it's not a predictor of the future by any means. So we have a lot of work to do, um, but we're just really excited to get going. All right. Well, Coach, I have to say, uh, clearly I missed the memo on the orange shirt day. OK, <laughs> <laughs> clearly I missed that. But I have to ask you, OK, you got a young team, some young players. Now, who should we watch for this season? Well, Quincy, this is Rebel Red, so. Okay. Yeah, I, I was. I, I didn't want to correct him, but I'm glad no, you did. It, well, okay, uh, I'm struggling with colors right now. <laughs> That's all right. We forgive you. We forgive you. Um, but we, we have a lot of new faces on our team. We have five freshmen, three transfers, um, a young woman that sat out last year uh, for COVID and is back. So really, we have nine new players on our team. Um, and so I'd love to tell you to look out for all of them because uh, they're really talented young women. Um, we're just excited to kind of blend our, our personalities, our skills together and, and see what we can, you know, put together. Uh, some people that are popping off the page, especially a couple of our transfers. We've got a young woman named Kayla Rook. She played at Washington uh, the last four years. So she's a grad transfer, has four years of college experience um, and just a high IQ older player for some of our, our youth that we have. And she's been really uh, productive for us so far. Um, another transfer essence booker. She's actually a Las Vegas native here. Um, she started up north at Reno and uh, went to Ball State last year. So we're just happy to be able to bring her home, but she'll be our point guard um, to start. And if you know anything about basketball, that's, that's a huge role for us. So um, excited for sure about Kayla and essence, but you know, I could, I can, you know, be here all day and, and talk you know, great things about all of them. So I, I'd say look out for all of them. Nice. Yeah, and I know you have good young talent too. And it's cool that you have so much local Las Vegas talent. I know you were born there and I know uh, Desi Ray Young, I believe also on your team as well. So it's cool that you guys are kind of keeping it local. You've really turned the team around since taking over as head coach last year. What are some of your keys to success? What can you share with us? Well, you know, kind of taking over a program, reinventing, you know, culture, starting fresh, that, that's, that's a tough job in any profession. Um, but the pillars that we have for our program are for sure are uh, energy and effort. You know, I, I ask them every day, did you give me great energy? Did you give me great effort? And, and did you have a great attitude? And if we can do those every single day, we'll take the steps forward that we need and all of those kind of outcomes and, you know, the results will take care of themselves. We're, we're focused on our process and just improving each and every day. So that's, that's how we've done it so far. And we've had some success. So I'm not going to change it just yet, but energy, effort, our team plays really, really hard. Um, and when you do that, you give yourself a chance to win a lot of ball games. Yeah, yeah, and winning, winning is the emphasis that I'm sure that you guys are driving while you're building relationships between the players. But the most difficult thing I believe as a coach that you have to deal with is building chemistry. So how are you doing that and what activities you use? Well, you know, young people, there, there's a lot of stimulation out there these days. So we've tried to not see that as an extract, a distraction, but really encourage it. Um, you know, off the court, we've tried to do a lot of fun things of goat yoga and roller skating. We took them out to the baseball field and did batting practice. We went to the arcade two weeks ago. So, um, you know, I just am a firm believer that if they enjoy being around each other, have fun off the court, 
on the court, it'll just be another representation of how much they love each other and love being around each other. So um, we're seeing that play out and it's worked so far for us. Nice. It seems like you got like a nice little family going on over there. We know again, you're a Las Vegas native and your father actually coached high school basketball for more than 30 years. So what's it like leading this program to success in your hometown? Well, being able to lead this program in general, it, it's it really is a dream come true for me. I've been a, a Rebel fan, you know, since I can remember my mom graduated from here. We went to Rebel games and since I was, you know, a tiny tot. So um, to be, you know, at in this position is such an honor and a privilege to represent our community, our town, um, you know, as the UNLV Lady Rebels head coach, it just, it just means the world to me. And I want to do really well for this community because they deserve it. Um, and I'm thankful to have the family and the support that I've had. And, you know, my dad, I, I learned a lot from him along with a lot of other coaches and players. And so just their support and love, you know, it, it's just, it's really impactful to our success. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, for the viewers, um, it'd be cool for you all to know that you'll be able to catch some of the Lady Rebels games coming up right here on your view. But uh, what are you looking forward to in the next uh, few weeks as the season prepares? Well, I'm like so jazzed to have our games on the UVU channel because I think it might be the first time in our program history. And so to have our games, you know, streamed and, and on TV locally, yeah. um, where, wherever they're going to be, any, honestly, anywhere is great, but it, this is huge for our program. And so we're really excited about the games that we have coming up. You know, I think our first one on the UVU is uh, November 13th against Montana State. Um, that's our first home game as well. So we're really excited about that. Um, we have some great non-conference competition. And so it's going to give us some really good tests before we get into the conference season um, after Christmas. But three non-conference games and then three conference games on, on the channel with you guys, it just it, it's a program changer for us. So I, I just can't thank you enough for uh, billing, being willing to, to support us and everything that we're doing. No problem, Coach. We love it. We love it so much. Make sure you do check it out on your view, the UNLV Rebels. Excited, excited to see your guys this season. Thank you so much. Um, it's just, you know, we're itching to get going. It's basketball season. The weather's changing, you know, get the hoodie <laughs> on and, you know, come indoors and, and see some hoops or, or watch them on TV. That, that's okay, too. There you yeah, go. we love it all. Thanks so much, Coach. We appreciate you. Yeah, well, appreciate you guys having me. No problem. All right, Danielle, although I struggle with seeing the difference between red and orange, clearly. Yeah, <laughs> we'll work on it. <laughs> but I think we're being a little bit selfish. We're only talking sports. How about we pass the ball around to our furry friends up next? We're talking Aww. training tips and so much more after the commercial break. Stay right there.